Okay, we're going to measure 3,000. We're going to measure 3,000 from the other side. I'm going to draw two vertical lines to locate my jog. And 2,000 going up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have beginning and end of each line that needs to be dark. Now you can finish. So if you're very confused, you can finish because this is the first time you're doing it. I probably would draw all the construction lines. While I'm looking at it, I'm maybe seeing that there might be a mistake. So you have to keep in mind, what is it that we're drawing? I'm verifying that this is actually three and this is three is just an illusion. All right, so I'm going to now I'm going to start with verticals. It doesn't matter whether you go vertical or horizontal first. I'm going to press hard. I know where to start and end my dark line. I'm going to move to the next. Turn my pencil as we go. And you shouldn't be repeating the line. For me, it's sometimes a habit. It's difficult to do. So at the beginning, I just want to go hard and do one dark line. And preferably don't go over it twice. We're using 2H pencil here, which should be H, and then the lines will be showing better on our video and when you are printing it. So it, H is what you should be working with. So I'm turning pencil now and doing horizontal lines, making sure that I have perfect corners. The only way perfect corners are going to be perfect if, is when you're not measuring the, point, the corners. There was one question. That's one of the reasons why you don't want to have measure points here, because you will be creating dark blips. So now that's my first outline. And we're going to move along into sharpening pencil because we're going to go with very light lines. We're going to use the lettering guide now. So as I mentioned in previous uh, instruction, all of these holes are three millimeters apart. There's no preference which side, but I think the holes are kind of tapered. So this side is probably better. I'm going to align here with one of my top lines. And I'm going to simply draw a light line above. That's where my first hidden line is going to go in. It's going to go past my ends because I need to add the 300 dimension. The inside line, I only need inside. Then I'm going to move my T-square, realign with the next horizontal line. And if you have any suspicion that you're not accurate, fix it. It's much easier to fix it now and take your time than do it later. Now in here, you may get confused and do the same thing. We need to go two lines on the inside. So be careful with it. Keep thinking about what you're doing. And one only on the outside. I'm going to move down to my last line. Two. Two lines on the inside. Gently move to the other side. And one. Whoops. This is what you want to avoid. So it's a little bit tricky. Notice that at all times I'm holding and it actually hurts. You're holding hard, pushing and holding. And with my left hand, I'm moving the lettering guide. So when all the horizontal lines are in place, now it gets even more difficult because we have to align. So find whatever is best for you. I'm realigning with this dot. I need one on the outside and two on the inside. We're going to move on to the next and do this for the entire building. Two on the inside, one on the outside. Now, I think you catch the drift, what we're going to do. So I'm going to now show you the hidden line on the part where I have beginning and end of each line. So we're going to go on on this first horizontal uh, vertical line. We're going to do hidden lines. So I'm going to go mid weight. 
oops, went a little bit too much, not a big deal. We use our handy dandy racing shoe. It can happen. It's not perfect. We're not happy with it. We're simply going to place our racing shield. Try to clean it up. And you want to, maybe you should start from horizontal because here you're holding the two tools with the left hand. About three millimeters, one millimeter in between, making sure that you finish at the corner with the line, even if you have to make it shorter or longer. So the corner is a closed corner. The second line is a dark line for my wall. And then at the same time, I'm going to repeat the third one with the hidden line while I'm already set up to go vertically at this location. I know beginning and end of each line. I know its location. I can concentrate on getting it as perfect as I can. So the entire layout of the sheet is done this way. At the end, next week, when you reassemble your sheet, you're going to realign to one of the long lines, making sure that the line is the same. Next week, you're going to do dimensions and hatching. So you can do a number of things. You can measure your three millimeter spacing. I suggest that you use this again, and now it gets really, really tricky because you got to hold everything. We're going to, to hatch from solid line to solid line, so I need this solid line. And you want as much accuracy as possible. You want to sharpen your pencil. And now we're going to try to do the same thing on 45. Watching that this doesn't lift. So you need to have sharp pencil and lots and lots of patience. Okay, so the next... Uh, option if you don't have this tool is to measure three one two three one two three one two three but then you're going to see the blips and there is going to be more imperfections now I see the imperfections so I'm going to try to fix it by eye so my spacing is exactly the same now the last that I'd like you to try See how I'm ignoring the blips because I know where those lines should be. The last is this is what you want to be doing eventually. You want to be eyeballing those three millimeter lines and just keep going. Okay, so when this is finished, we're going to draw a dimension. So let's do one dimension. We're going to draw extension line that starts about millimeter above your object line. The dimension line is spaced about 10 millimeters, about 10 millimeters, so somewhere here from the last line, horizontal line, medium weight. And we're going to do two small, about three millimeter narrow arrows. Then we're going to place two dots about one millimeter above the line and about three millimeters apart, draw line. You're going to need it somewhere here. You might as well repeat it as well on the other side while you edit. And we're going to take lettering guide. This is going to be our, our next assignment, is using this lettering guide for actual lettering. And the best way to do it is place the lettering guide like so underneath. And I will be teaching you how to train your thumb to hold the round part, place your dimension in the middle, you eyeball this, and then use this edge of your lettering guide to make all verticals vertical 10 space 2 50 the last thing that we haven't mentioned um, <clears throat> in your classroom instruction was that dimensions are always placed above the dimension line above the dimension line and over to the left so your vertical dimension which is also 1050 you will do the same thing extension lines and you don't have to measure it, maybe first time you measure, but 10 millimeters from here is about this much. So that's going to be my extension line. Then I need millimeter above and three millimeters for my guides. Place the guidelines guide very light. 
And um, here I would probably, to save time and my muscles, I would probably just do this, 10, 2, 50. And the two arrows narrow, just the thickness of the pencil lead and about three millimeters in length. Okay, if you continue that way, you may see the little imperfections. It's all about time and precision. Okay, thank you. So you can continue.